What if I told you that every great invention, every work of art, every leap in human progress begun not just in the mind, but in an unseen world around us? A world where ideas are alive, waiting, searching for somebody to bring them into reality. Today we explore the life of ideas and how you can make the most out of yours. I was having a conversation with a friend earlier this week and this hit me. Have you ever had an idea so vivid it felt like it was living inside you? I have this fascinating concept of ideas. What if ideas are like wandering spirits, searching for the right person to bring them to life? Just like in the movie Soul, but this time with ideas instead of souls. Imagine ideas as these free-spirited entities floating around waiting to find the perfect match. They are not just thoughts, they are potential waiting to be unlocked. And they choose you, not the other way around. But the question remains the same. Where do ideas come from? Imagine a vast, endless source, an invisible wellspring of creativity beyond the physical realm. This source isn't selective. It doesn't discriminate by origin, race, gender, or any other boundary. It's universal and accessible to every single person on the planet. Think of it like a cosmic network, a shared database of creativity where every idea ever conceived is stored. This network is constantly evolving, growing with each new thought and each new inspiration. And the most beautiful part, we are all plugged right into this network. Every single one of us has access to this boundless reservoir of ideas. Now picture this, I'm sure this is a feeling many of us have experienced before. You get an idea, a really good one, it excites you, and then life happens. Doubt creeps in, you put idea on the shelf, thinking, maybe someday, but then someday never comes, right? And then one day, you see it, your idea, out there in the open, but it's not you who brought it to life. Someone else did. And it's not just the fact that they executed it. They most likely might have done it better than you, or probably worse than you. And how fascinating is it that two people, two worlds apart, different race, group, whatever, can conceive strikingly similar ideas and sometimes even identical. I believe ideas have a life cycle of their own. If an idea lingers within you on birth, as days turn into months and months turn into years, it makes its way back into this cosmic network, the same universal source from which it emerged. It's as if they are seeking a new partner, someone who can bring them into existence. And if that person is not you, these ideas will find new people. It's a fascinating and somewhat humbling thought that an idea that once resonated with you so much could now be seeking someone else, someone who's ready to bring them into the world. And this is why when an idea comes to you, it's more than just a fleeting thought. It's an opportunity and a call to action. So you might say, Josh, what is all this talk about ideas and blah, blah, blah? What does this mean for us? Well, I believe this is a reminder that our ideas are very precious. They are not just our own, but a part of a larger dynamic flow of creativity. If an idea has chosen you, it's for a reason. You have the unique ability to give it life. But if you hesitate, if you wait just a little bit too long, you might just move on in search of someone else who's ready to seize the moment. So what idea is choosing you right now? If you stuck around to the end, you are one of the main reasons why I keep doing this every single time. Well, this is the pilot of a 31-day series I'm going to be starting from the 1st of December to the very last of December. I'm going to be sharing thoughts, tips and tricks, anything I've picked up throughout the year. If you have any specific thing you want to speak about or you want to hear me talk about, kindly put it in the comments below. And if it's something I find very interesting, maybe I can infuse it into one of the days. So, until then, see you guys and bye.